All right, so um, we'll just start, you know, what will you miss most about UCM from the administrative side, from the connecting with students, anything? Oh, Aaron, you know, uh, today's a hard day to ask because it's, it's really bittersweet. Um, and sitting here with you, uh, because uh, you're one of those students that helps create memories, uh, it's definitely students, right? I mean, uh, I, uh, I can recall uh, interactions uh, that keeps you young, uh, inspired, and hopeful, right? So uh, there's, uh, there's nothing that I've been able to do, and, and hopefully, like our faculty and staff and others, that uh, doesn't drive its energy from just the interaction. And you know, I thought about it today because you know, I have a chance to say a few thank yous. Uh, but UCM has the best students, <laughs> without question. I agree. I yeah, it's all about the connections you make, and it's frequently with students and your peers, but it's also faculty and admin. So well, and, and um, you know, college. Um, College is the difference, right? I mean, it makes you who you are and what you can become. But if you think about our students, and especially uh, the Midwest and, and certainly Missouri, uh, the opportunity afforded by us, you know, being very focused on keeping it affordable, you know, encouraging people to finish. But the energy, I think, that drives UCM is the, the degree of appreciation that students have for what they can accomplish. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the other piece of it is, and I, I think, uh, doing a Mule Skinner interview uh, helps me with this because I've watched, uh, you know, students like Leah Kemp will go off and be producers and reporters and uh, I don't know what else she's doing for a TV station. Uh, but, you know, our applied knowledge, right, the ability to use a degree to actually do something, um, I don't think there's anybody who appreciates that more uh, than a, a student or an alum. Now, a lot of other memories, a lot of other appreciation, uh, you know, eight years seems like it's been three. It's been the, the fastest, uh, you know, kind of moment and, and time that I've ever had. For sure. And, uh, but, uh, you know, the one thing that UCM's done for me, and again, I, I'm going to give some students credit because I can name a few, that uh, instead of, uh, you know, after being a president for 20 years, finishing, you know, like you're working hard to get to the finish line, uh, I, I feel like I've gone through adolescence and I'm ready for uh, adulthood, you know, so I'm yeah. ready to do the next big awesome. thing. It's not that I don't love to be a college president. and The day-to-day -day stuff is the best job on the planet. Mm -hmm. But it's just hard. You know, you're, you, you've got a lot of demands on time and energy. And there's some things I feel like I did really well. Uh, and there's some things that I wish I had about, uh, you know, 100% more capacity that I could have spent time on that we could have done better. Mm -hmm. So I know, I, I think the things I leave here with regret that either we didn't complete or didn't initiate. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, there's never been a campus. And, and I'll leave here saying this is one of the best presidencies in the United States just for that spirit of innovation and cooperation yeah. uh, and uh, stewardship mm -hmm. and most importantly, caring about students. For sure. So. And you've done just that. I mean, we'll go out and we'll ask people, we're like, what were your favorite memories? And they'll be like, oh, we like got an ice cream cone with Chuck in like the dining hall. Or they'll just see you on campus and you were very, I know for me personally, you were very present. Every time I was on campus, if you were out and about, like you said hi. Even when you didn't know who I was, you're like, hi. And I was like, that's cool. Like I wouldn't have gotten that, I think, elsewhere. So. Well, and, and, and you know, Aaron, uh, my hope always was that you'd kind of pay it back because, um, I was very fortunate to be on a campus with uh, some leaders that did that for me. And then I looked at them and I said, hey, you know, uh, you get paid for doing this, right? I mean, uh, whether you're a college president or running a housing program or teaching uh, Chinese philosophy, right. that there's no better work, there's no better place to have more of a developmental in impact on individuals than on a college campus. Just, sure. There's just no better place. Yeah. Some may say church may be one or other, uh, you know, social service or uh, public education. I mean, they're all great places. But when we capture, especially in traditional college, when you're coming out of high school and you have the opportunity to be part of a residential community, you can engage inside and outside the classroom and activities like this, mm -hmm. um, you know, it really is formative. And so my objective always was is to help create opportunities that maybe pay it back that would inspire you to say and Aaron one day you could be a great college president Aww. you know <laughs> but sometimes you don't see yourself that way just by virtue yeah. of of uh, other career aspirations yeah for sure 
but there's uh, there's no cooler job on the planet than being a college president. And I always that's all I ever wanted to do when I came out of college. Very I thought, cool. which is kind of a weird aspiration, right? And uh, it won't be easy uh, after 20 years not being one. Mm -hmm. But between Pfeiffer University in North Carolina and UCM in Warrensburg, Missouri, uh, I uh, have been fulfilled uh, 20 times over. And, uh, and hopefully, it, it's a really interesting transition, Aaron, because um, I have found that it is very different not going to another college or university. So if I was going to be president of some other institution, mm -hmm. um, you know, there could be different reactions, like, why are you leaving? You know, what's better about them? Uh, going to where I'm going, I actually believe that between um, relationships and then some national uh, resources that perhaps we can coalesce, there's a lot of interest in trying to take uh, the innovation campus model to scale on a national level. And I actually can kind of come back and help UCM out in ways that perhaps I couldn't even do as president of the university. Very cool. That's good to yeah. hear for us. <laughs> well, and again, you know, from a relationship standpoint, it's great for us too because, uh, you know, we found a lot of friends and a lot of home here. Um, and kind of looking, I guess, ahead now um, with Roger Best coming in, uh, how do you feel about that? Are you excited? What are you looking forward to seeing him do? Yeah, you know, um, it is a major part of my ability to leave, to have a senior team senior leaders, and a campus that you feel like not only can take what we've done uh, and continue it, but bring their own leadership and aspirations to the table and, and do it more. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really indebted uh, to Roger. Uh, he kind of took the beck and call to step out of a deanship and, and step into a chief operating officer's role. Never had more help uh, and a better partner. And uh, equally indebted uh, to Mike Goddard, and I really think uh, both of those individuals have all the capacity to be great college presidents for different reasons. Um, Roger's got a really keen strategic and financial acumen coming out of a business school dean right. and, and finance. Uh, Mike's administrative strengths really rely on student success and enrollment management and, and financial aid. And uh, you bring those two elements together and you've got most of the assets that kind of drive where higher ed's going. Mm -hmm. And I think if they're not in place, uh, there's a lot of presidents who don't want to leave wondering if all the work you've done can be advanced. Yeah. And somewhat fear, there's always a fear if you leave that right. it hurts. Yeah. Um, that's just not the case. I mean, I, I've got a lot of confidence. And the Board of Governors, um, you know, one thing perhaps um, is underappreciated. Uh, it, it's the board uh, that put the focus on student success in 2010. Yeah. And then they just said it's the most important thing that's, that's here at the university. So I think all the elements, and, and I can say this, Aaron, for a lot of different reasons. I don't think there's a better public university positioned to create the future for what college needs to be in Missouri than UCM. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you want to add on the topic? of missing UCM, being excited for future, um, and then moving forward? You know, um, and, and I need to say this, uh, especially to you guys here at Mule Skinner, um, you've just been a tremendous help. Um, there's times when you've written about some of the hardest things uh, on a college campus well and, and drawn attention and awareness. Um, I think you've been very fair and uh, open and hopefully a, a big part of helping keep us accountable and transparent. Uh, but the thing that's most exciting is just the quality of your work. And, uh, and I think it gives um, a demonstrable asset to the university that helps others choose red. And uh, I know yesterday was a big day because opportunity in action. Uh, to me, this is one of the best uh, examples of actually putting college and affordability and access and completion. This is putting it in action because if you engage outside the classroom, and this would be especially true for, for those that were uh, perhaps sitting in class wondering, what do I do? How do I advance my degree in positive ways? Uh, that's where you help to create and kind of our shared partner in the opportunity piece of that equation. For sure. 
and then you're going to be really competitive, right? Yeah. And uh, so um, I, uh, I know this sounds kind of uh, mushy, um, but I really, uh, in a lot of ways, don't feel like I'm leaving. I know we feel like we've left a good part of our, ourselves here, uh, and hopefully it's, it's judged that way by others in history. Mm -hmm. uh, and then looking to the future, you know, the other exciting piece of where I'm going is uh, the world is really going to be driven by partnerships and collaboration with others. And I'm going to have a place that I can still partner and collaborate with UCM, and, and that's a privilege. Absolutely. So thanks for uh, giving me a chance to say thank you. And thanks for everything you've done. We do have one more final question. It Good. was a request. Pineapple on pizza or not? You know, actually, uh, I'm pro-pineapple, and uh, okay. I'm very pro-pizza. Yes. And uh, if you put good prosciutto with the pineapple, oh. it's much better. Next level. But I will actually <laughs> eat almost anything on a pizza. Okay. Well, we'll make sure we deliver the most creative pizza to you on your first day over there. <laughs> well, thanks again. We appreciate Aaron, this. Aaron, you've been awesome. You so, too. Um, we'll miss you. This is Chuck Ambrose, first interview in our new studio. We are pumped. We are psyched. Um, we will miss him. But like you said, we're going to have partnerships. We can always get him on Twitter. And not just on Twitter. I'm a good reference. Um, I have had, and I'm not going to name them because I'm very proud of them, but uh, I've been solicited uh, by several UCM students for jobs at KnowledgeWorks already. Their expectation is that if you handed my, you, my degree, there's no reason you shouldn't hire me. So Fair. if you're ever looking, networking, Cincinnati's a great place. Are you on LinkedIn? Absolutely. Okay, I'll go fix that right after this interview. We'll look forward Connect. to it. And me too, because I may need help one day too. Hey, I got you. You need another interview, we'll fly out. All right, good <laughs> All deal. Right. Thanks, Thank Chuck. You.